Weller Dog Gaming here. How are you doing today? This video, we want to talk about bombing. Uh, we just watched uh, Midway last night on Netflix, and they showed us how the dive bombers work with the sights and everything, and so I got an idea. Wait a minute. If that's how they do their bombing, rather than how, you know, most people in World War of Thunder, I see they fly in and they learn how to gauge where, where to drop the bombs. They fly super low and drop the bombs and hit their targets. But watching Midway last night, I could see that they used the second sight. So my V key is set up for uh, changing the view from the, I'll show you here. So we got this view and this is what I saw in Midway last night. See the crosshair there? That's what we got to aim and then drop our bombs uh, to hit that middle target. Hopefully uh, this view I haven't used very much yet. We'll learn how to use that in upcoming videos. And so I'm starting with a very basic plane, the HS-123A-1. I mean, it's like a level one plane. It's like one of the most basic planes in the game. It's a biplane, as you can see. And under the carriage, we have five bombs. Your outer bombs go first, a set of two, a set of two, and then you've got the single bomb. So mind you, if you're aiming at the center, your crosshair's on the center, and you got two bombs on the outside of your wings, that means you are not going to directly hit your target. But that final bomb, that definitely should hit your target. Where the other ones might hit around it and do damage like that. All right, where is our enemy? Ah, there they are. We got two vehicles over here trying to drive around. We've already destroyed some of the other targets. That's why we couldn't see them. All right, so we've got two vehicles here. We're at 900 meters. We're going to try and hit one of those vehicles. Now, they are moving. That is going to be problematic. So let's see if we can't be perpendicular to their rate of travel. And if we do like they did in uh, Midway, we got to be like right above them. Now my left mouse button releases the bombs. And we're almost there. Let's see, we take a look here. We're using our C key so we can hold down our C key so we can see what uh, where they are. There they are, ready? Here we go. Oh shit, come on. Oh shit, this is not gonna work. Uh, <laughs> okay, there's a problem too. We can't be going upside down. We uh, actually, previously, we tried to do a bombing run. Our plane was upside down, the bombs would not release, and we crashed into the ground when we tried to pull out of the dive because we actually pulled into the ground. There. All right. Ready? Let's see if we can't keep the plane forward this time. I have to drop. I don't think it's going to work. No. We missed. All right. Let's try again. Right there. Pull up. All right, we got a critical hit that time. We got one bomb left. Now, mind you, with a biplane. Target destroyed, all right. Mind you, with a biplane, and we know these are small bombs. And this is in test flight mode. We are in test flight mode. Oh, look at that smoke. There we go. All right, so we got a five, I think it's a 500 pound bomb. So that guy's moving on the road. So we want to aim a little ahead of him. Here we go. Gonna have to do some. Uh... Maybe I dropped too soon. Uh, we, we hit him. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna reset this so we've got a non-moving target so you can see what that looks like. So we're gonna see what we can do with uh, these non-moving targets here. Now, I'd like to do the rollover like they did the movie, but I, I just, I'm not a very good flyer when it comes to that. All right, we're overhead. We're going to go in to a dive. We dropped uh, four bombs. Target destroyed. 
All right, we had one other target. We've got one more bomb. All right, let's go for a ride. Keeping it this forward. My target. Drop the bomb. And we're gonna, no, no, no. All right, we want to do a single bomb destroy, so we're going to get rid of, so watch here, we're going to get rid of the outer two. And then the next outer two, that leaves us the one in the middle. Now, is the enemy going to let you uh, fly like this uh, over the target when you're playing the ground uh, realistic battles? Probably not. You're probably going to have to be at altitude, where they're not even going to bother with you. All right, let's try this again. Target. Oh shit, we're gonna die. We got a hit. So you can see it's not as easy as uh, it's not as easy as it looks. I mean, uh, someone bombs you and they kill you. They're they've got some practice under the belt. Now, of course, I mean there is other ways. So I'll show you the other ways that I, I don't. I mean, they work, but they're a lot more dangerous because you got to fly low and you're going to get shot. You might get shot down. You're probably going to get shot down before you ever get there. All right, we're going to take a shot at those guys that are... You know, let's go ahead and finish work on this guy. All right, so what I'm talking about here is where you see an airplane that comes in. So I'm just going to try and judge this like I'm trying to hit an enemy base. So I, I've got to come in straight at the guy still, right? But now he's it's so much easier for him to shoot at me if he's got machine guns or whatever. Okay, we got a hit. Let's flip around. Make another quick run. Oh, it's a T-34. Oh, he might be hard to kill then. Saying, all right, let's drop the big one on him. But you think a T-34 is going to sit there and let you bomb him like that? You're going to be shot out of the sky before you even got that first bomb off. All right, let's see what we can do here. The one bomb left. One birthday present left. <laughs> uh, let's try a uh, aerialistic battle. See what we can do. All right, we're at realistic battles here. Now, you know, Attention bombing the targets, bombing the big targets is not going to be our objective for this video. It's the little targets we're going to go for. So why don't we see about bombing some these guys over here. This is the plane for it. We're at 3,000 meters. Let's see what we can do. I know I can hit the, this, the, the big... A base targets there yeah those are too easy to hit so maybe we'll save the big bomb for that we'll, we'll do a couple dives see if we can get these little bombs and maybe we can use a big, big bomb to uh oh yeah don't forget there's gonna be airplanes flying around too now we want to try and show the attention to the designated grid square diving effect all right so we're gonna start going down we were di diving from 900 meters right so let's uh let's get started Let's bring our altitude down. Going a little fast. All right, let's see what we can do. Maybe we can hit a couple. Let's drop on there. Drop on there. Oh, we got a couple hits. All right, we're going to drop our 500 here. Do some evasive flying.
Don't shoot at me, buddy. All right, we want to get this bomb off. We are losing. Oh, come on, come on. No more. No more. We're going to drop it. I don't know if it hit it or not. Ah, we got it! Ha ha! Can we land? Ah, oh, not an upside down crash. <sighs> Sometimes it pays not to leave your airplane. We should have enough points to fly. Yeah, we got 700, we need 560 to fly. Let's go! 1,000 meters, that's fine. Head to A. There. Holy cow, there's quite a few of them. We're controlling most of the zones. There. Dropped a couple bombs. Hard to see. Yeah, we got a hit. We got one bomb left. Son of a gun before I shoot him. Oh, somebody spotted over here. Uh oh. There he is. Ha 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 ha! Target destroyed! Ha 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 ha!